I'm Chris Moulin, I'm a senior lecturer in cognitive neuropsychology at the University of Leeds and I'm going to talk to you about one of my uh, research interests and a tool I use a lot in my daily life as a psychologist which is the case study approach and what case studies contribute to psychology. So today I'm going to talk about um, historic cases in psychology. I'm going to go through some classic case studies which appear in undergraduate and A-level textbooks. I'm also going to talk in the middle section about some real research that I'm doing and I'm going to be helped out there by one of my PhD students, Nathan Illman. And I'm going to finish up by illustrating case studies by talking about some research I've done into a condition called déjà vécu, which is like persistent déjà vu. So I'm going to introduce to you today five classic cases from psychology. And in fact, these are cases which go beyond psychology and you may have heard of them and encountered them in other places as well. They are that famous. And they range from cases in the mid-19th century going right up to modern day accounts and modern psychological accounts. So we start with the first case, which is Phineas Gage. And his whole case is summed up uh, with this limerick, which was written at the time. A moral man, Phineas Gage, tamping powder down holes for his wage, blew the last of his probes through his two frontal lobes. Now he drinks, swears, and flies in a rage. The author of this uh, limerick is actually unknown, but it sums up a famous case in psychology of a man who had damage to his brain as a result of an industrial accident. So in 1848, Gage survived um, a horrific accident. So on the slide here, you can see um, four different depictions of his accident, and it's actually been the subject of many reconstructions. The basic idea is um, to blow away uh, rocks in the making of a railroad. You have to jam in uh, an iron rod to kind of get the dynamite compacted at the end. One of the hazards of this is, is as you're doing so, you can create a spark which ignites the rod. And this is the horrific part, because Phineas caused a spark like that, and this rod was then fired through his brain, and there are accounts which say it landed out the other side or that it was stuck in there.